the thing that that JJ said to me when we first met, um, first meeting the first time was that I imagine a journey of a character where it's almost the opposite, just isolating the original trilogy. That uh, the journey of someone who the opposite of Vader, where he Vader starts the most confident, the most experienced, and over the course of three films, uh, is chipped away till he's his most vulnerable. And he had the idea of starting someone at that place and doing almost the exact opposite. At the start of the third movie, I didn't know at that point how the third movie ended, but um, someone who almost starts the most vulnerable and the most uh, susceptible and kind of gradually becomes more and more hardened with um, uh, experience he's had, gets deeper and deeper into the dark side. You find him at his most comfortable, like with the Knights of Ren, before all those movies start, that's what he, that's all he did was, you know, be a grunt guy. So in a way, that's his, where he's most at home. It's di diplomacy that he's always uh, has trouble with. It's, you know, um, not having an emotional response and having a physical one is his problem, you know. Uh, but in a way, what JJ and I had talked about and what him and Chris wrote is you almost find him the most himself. Working with Ian, I was really excited by. And, uh, you know, but the, you get on set and you can't help but have him, you know, uh, get hit with... Um, you know, reliving these movies live, which is a pretty rare thing to have happen. You actually have to, you get to act with, um, you know, almost a memory, which is, which was really exciting. The stunt team was, you know, paramount. I mean, as they always are, but this one in particular, because there's so much, uh, because there's so much fighting, you know, but Eunice has a energy and a, uh, assuredness and uh, uh, a confidence that is really um, exciting to work with. There's lots of reasons why those movies have such longevity or touch so many different people from different cultures is uh, its specificity with a story, but at the same time is so relatable. Being able to tell a very specific world but make it uh, applicable to such a large culture and and not sacrificing character for spectacle even though spectacle is a huge part of the of of that world ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey, you guys, is that yeah. from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey you